if you're looking for a backup water solution and um, you actually want to have that backup water at a point where in emergencies you can drink it, you need to look more at a system like this. What we basically have here is we have a system that these are all the filtration components that you'll need to run from your roof all the way through to running into, into your house. There's obviously a few, a few other things you would need with it. But to start with, we need a good first flush unit like the Superhead um, to filter the rainwater as it's coming down from the roof. Basically what this does is uh, it'll reduce the amount of dust and especially important the amount of bird droppings that would actually get through into your rainwater tank. The, the, the bird droppings especially can give you a very high nitrate level which is definitely not healthy to drink and very difficult to remove from the water and it also acts as nutrients for uh, bacteria to grow in the actual water storage. So your first step would be the superhead running on the downpipe and into your, into your storage tank. Then storage tanks you typically look at something between a thousand litre and a ten thousand litre tank like a Jojo or a Roto tank. Inside the tank then we'd fit an uh, in-tank UV light. This light actually floats inside of the tank on the water with its control box outside and what this does is you turn it on for a few hours every day and then it just as bacteria starts to grow you just bring that level of bacteria back down with the UV light giving the water in effect a shelf life. Normally if you don't have something like this in place in a rainwater tank you'll easily get to a point within two to four weeks where there's so much bacteria in the water that you'll overwhelm any filtration system that you would have after the tank. So from the tank with the UV, you'd then run through a pump to pressurize the line. The first step would be the washable disk filter. This is to, to catch dirt particles. Um, the reason why we'd recommend this is especially if the superhead isn't set up perfectly perfectly, you'd get a lot of fine dust dust into the water and without something like this you can easily um, use up a set, set of filters within a day or two um, if the water is quite dusty that uh, will, will get through into the house. So this is a completely washable unit, it's a, it's a, a once-off once purchase and um, then as it gets dirty you just open it up and, um, and wash it. Have a look at the individual product uh, video for more information there. Then from there, this, this is where it gets a little bit more complicated than the normal backup water system. We run into a triple big blue system. Now, the, what we do here is first we run through a one micron particle filter. At one micron, you're filtering way past what you could see any visible particles. And you actually get to a point where you start to remove some bacteria from the water. The reason we have this one first is this is quite an inexpensive filter and we primarily use it to protect the next filter which is a 0.1 micron filter which is your which will act as a physical barrier for bacteria. Um, for permanent use you'd normally want another barrier after this but if it's just for backup use you've probably got a 95% solution with having a 0.1 micron filter in place if you've got uh, UV lights in the tank preventing too high levels of bacteria getting through to the filters. And then the, the final filter would be a KDF filter, which is basically a carbon mixed with an active ingredient KDF. And the KDF in this, this specific application would be primarily used to kill any bacteria that does get through and that's, that it doesn't sit and grow in the filter in between uses, as typically of a backup water system. You'll have long periods where it's not being used what if you use a normal carbon filter you'd actually get that, that carbon filter will, will get bacteria growth in it and you'd need to change the filter every time you'd want to use the system. The KDF um, prevents that as it actively kills bacteria growing in the filter. And this system can basically be hooked up to a house then. It's not the highest flow solution but with a single um, 0.1 micron you'd be limited to about 1,200 litres per hour. That's sufficient to run about two showers, you, you do notice a slight, slight um, loss in flow compared to municipal water, but it's typically for emergency situations more than sufficient. And um, then it, this is a relatively simple solution and you've got relatively low maintenance on it as well.